Guys, Ralph here. Welcome to True Power Trumpet Fitness on this magnificent, magical Monday here in Connecticut. Ooh, just keeps getting better, man. <laughs> anyway, just a wonderful, wonderful fall day. Just, just gorgeous out. I already did uh, 30 miles. I'm going to get out and do another 10. I just feel sugar water, baby. That's the other channel. Anyway. Uh, you saw the thumbnail. Nick Drozdoff has true power. And guys, I've never been more happy to say that about anybody in, in my whole teaching career. Really worked hard at it. We'll get to that in a minute. But uh, he left a clip down below of these projects that he works on. He's uh, very... We'll get to it. All right? Let me honk a little bit, and we will uh, take it from there. I've played quite a bit. Guys, I gotta do a. Uh, I have to do another video on uh, pedal tones. All right. It's changed over the years with Jerry. So what I'm doing now, I'll let you know. So Nick, Nick draws stuff. I, I, geez, Nick, I lost count four, five years ago. Did we start? And uh, yeah, I'm not going to get into the physical trouble. We, we talked about this. And he's very upfront about it. So no reason to do it. But I'll tell you what, I have never, not even close, never had a student of any level that we had more dogged determination that come hell or high water, he was gonna get this. He was gonna get this. And every single lesson, before, we, okay, let's see, let's see your C scale. Before I could even get to that, he had a laundry list of stuff that he wanted to get to. And come hell or high water, we were gonna to get to it. And um, now, let me say this, and not necessarily, Interesting thing about, we'll get to that in a second. Let me gather my thoughts here. Many times, professionals are harder to teach than anybody else. And I'll tell you why. Because an excellent professional, that I could just give you names that have gone through here like you wouldn't believe. Excellent professionals have achieved a level of excellence doing it a different way. Okay, now maybe their chops are down now. Maybe their chops are wonderful and they just want to go to the next level and all this sort of stuff. They charge and do it in a different way. And something that they see on these videos make them think, wow, that might apply to me, blah, 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 and we're off to it. But in the back of their mind, they're a great player doing it in a different way. And that can be a lot more challenging than... Some young kid who's never played before, who's, who's, you know, blank check, just start from scratch. Now, Nick was not like that. He was all in. Now, he had questions. He had questions of, trust me, hundreds of questions. But at the end of the day, he just jumped in. Everything. Diet. Exercise. Kettlebells, bike, exercise, mouthpiece, less is more. That is still a tough one for him. That is still a tough one for him like it was for me. He came from the Doc Severson, you know, I'm going to practice until I get this right. But especially when you're redoing this, you got to go with a blank slate and just let it happen. Now, a lot of guys, it happens like that. Nick, not so much. It took a while. Okay, residue from, 
you know, Caruso studies of, of yore. <laughs> anyway, but he got it. He got it. And he was absolutely killing it around Chicago. He played with Maine and played with the Chicago Symphony. He's a very, very talented guy. Okay? So he's got every genre of music covered with his ability. One mouthpiece. Okay? He does a lot of writing and arranging, a la Perico. And if you'll see in a minute, he's very adept at the tech, technological side of it, which I can't even begin to... I, I can pull, push in a plug. That's all I got. So he's got a very, very talented guy. He got the whole thing covered and really does some nice stuff you're going to see down below. And um, again, th th this will show you. He's got the technology. He's got some nice musicians there that work with. His son is, is a keyboard player of note. Um, the little jazz on the flugelhorn at the middle, you know, dancing around with America the Beautiful, ends on an A, B flat. I don't have perfect pitch. Um, can play all the lead. He's got it covered. He's really got it covered, which is true power. And I'm going to go back to what I said. Nobody, nobody that I've had has worked harder at it. Actually, my uh, True Power to the Max book, Jerry did the forward to it, and it's much the same thing. I see a little bit of, of me in Nick, and then he said, Jerry said about me, it didn't come easily to me. It just really didn't. I was like one of those pros that had done it differently the wrong time, tighten the corners and, you know, Bach 1C mouthpiece. That took a while to get through that, that muck. But uh, I'm telling you, this is a beautiful arrangement that you're going to see. But I'm telling you, a year from now, two years from now, six months from now, he's going to be even stronger. He's going to be even stronger. There's nothing here. Roger Ingram, he can beat him up. He can beat him up. Um, anyway, take that out. I don't want to get him in a pissing contest because I said something silly. Okay? But um, anyway, that's that. So uh, check out the uh, stuff down below. And also, he has a very, very nice website. Uh, I'm not sure exactly the uh, call letters and all that. So just uh, Google Nick Drozdoff trumpet. And you got it. And he's got some really old stuff. He's got some stuff when he was playing with Maynard. And uh, yeah, enjoy Nick Drozdoff. He has true power. All right? All right. Love you all, guys.